Hello everyone. Amnesty International is continuing to dig itself a hole when it comes to misinformation about what is actually happening in Ukraine. So they've made another statement. First of all, they refused to apologize for the first statement in which they insulted Ukrainian troops. And then they released another statement in which they talked about supposedly Ukrainian generals uh, peddling the foreign weapons that are being supplied to U Ukrainian um, war effort on the black market. When asked why, why did they bring that up, the answer was, well, it happened in Afghanistan. Why couldn't it happen in Ukraine? Because those are totally the same. Aside from the fact that there's a war on and logistics and tracking is difficult. Aside from the fact that a lot of the ammo specifically that is delivered to Ukraine gets used up almost immediately. Aside from the fact that it's not like Ukrainian army will share its information about weapons distribution with a civilian organization because there's a war on. Aside from all that, it also came up that the information they received was taken mostly from people currently in Russian custody. Do you see any issues with that? So I actually studied uh, design of experiments and statistical quality control. And one of the things that we were taught is that when you start with the faulty data, you're going to get faulty results. In layman's terms, garbage in, garbage out. They're getting information from people at gunpoint in Russian custody who have probably been tortured. You think there might be a problem with that information? Hmm. I wonder. In other news, the contents of this article from The Guardian is a bit misleading. Zaporizhia, the regional center of the Zaporizhia region, has not been taken. It is not occupied. But roughly 60 to 65 percent of the Zaporizhia um, area is. And Russians are already slicing and dicing it like they own it. So... You know, that that is going on. And again, the world lo just looks on. There are continued issues with the Zaporizhia nuclear power station and continued concerns about Russia trying to orchestrate a nuclear disaster. Since only Ukrainian personnel is left there and is not allowed to leave, it is very likely that if something goes boom there, Russia will blame Ukrainians. In conclusion... I want to leave you with this graphic as food for thought. Thank you for watching.